uh, another mod that I did, you know, at five horsepower. So an update about my math and air intake woes. A lot of those things have been corrected and a lot of my math numbers have stabilized to a good number, which I'm very happy about. They weren't the explosive, you know, insanity numbers that I was reading earlier with, uh, you know, leaky air boxes and weird math signals. So to recap, this car with the OEM intake and OEM filter, I can get around 106 grams per second mass airflow rate. With the Apexi filter, I was able to get some pretty high numbers before, but I'm going to cancel a lot of those out. My current maximum with the Apexi filter and this uh, hybrid intake is 114 grams per second. So from 106 to 114 is... That's a pretty good amount because you wouldn't expect just the intake to give you that much potential horsepower gain. How did I correct a lot of those things? The temporary bouts of insanity came from a leaky air box from vibration. All of these clamps have been tightened down properly. Uh, they're nice and straight. Uh, this throttle body was also loose at one point and there was a leak here. So that's unmetered air going in and causing codes, right? Then I also found my PCB to be dirty, that valve. I cleaned that one out. Uh, the codes were cleaned up. And then the other one was that this breather hose down here was loose, uh, causing a semi-air leak, which was good for about two grams per second. You know, I'm pretty happy that I sealed up this uh, the intake here and all the vacuums. And I have a very stable and decent mass airflow number that I can attribute to the performance of this car. Actually, it's 10.